Today I'm gonna to show you around our little garden and also plant two new fruit trees and show you what we planted so far and also what we're planting, <laughs> planting slash planning uh, for the future. One of the biggest mistakes, I will say at least, when people are starting gardening or planting trees or berry bushes or whatever it may be, is that they just go for it when they move to a new place. And the problem with that, with that is that you don't really know where you're moving around on the area you just purchased. So the best advice from me to you is actually when you move to a new place and are gonna start planting fruit trees or berry bushes or yeah, whatever you feel like, it's actually to wait a year or two. Um, and if you've already lived at your place for a few years, then you know where your paths are, where you're going, on the lawn or in the garden or forest. Then you can see where you're naturally moving. Like we planted the berry bushes over there where we're passing every single day. And we go to out for walks or down to the car. That's a logical place to have them. So what I've been doing the last couple of days is actually just walking around with these guys and trying to find a good spot for them because I want to f get a feeling of where they should be placed. Um, I think I have at least one good spot. Um, but I also live with my girlfriend and she has her own opinion and we don't always agree. I'm crazy, need to find 
fly away We have a bit of a problem. Let's see if you can figure it out. So here's the first hole, you can see this big stone, it's massive, like it goes easily up all the way to here, so it would, it would be impossible for me to carry, or even move at all. Here's the second hole, it's about a, a meter deep and then 80 centimeters in diameter-ish. And the reason I'm making it, in, making it into a square is because otherwise it's easy for the roots to just like spin around in the hole. Now they're gonna actually hit the edge and then hopefully go through that and then carry on on its own. Ooh. So the, the orange one is uh, cow shit, <laughs> basically. And then the brown white one is um, bark mulch if that's the correct translation basically to make it more like have some organic and chunky things in the dirt as well and we're gonna mix in a bit of the old dirt as well but i think it's a bit funny that we actually go and buy cow shit from a store and pay good money for it it's a bit weird I know we walk for days, but you know, fade in love. This night will be okay, waking up to another day. Day. It smells so good.
Hey, what do you think? Is it approved? This is the cabin and I've cleared the path down here. Let's see. So I'm thinking that it's gonna stand here. It's a very nice and sunny spot. Not in competition with that much. These like small branches and trees is gonna be cut down. I was planning to do it <laughs> earlier this year, but that didn't happen. So this is the second pear tree as well. A bit of a shout out if you're ever gonna buy um, some really good fruit trees or anything for your garden, please go to this place and talk to a guy called Stefan. He's he's the guy. Okay, so this is one berry bush, uh, like completely hidden, and then we have one over here. I don't know if you can see it, maybe. and then one over here, and the fourth one is this one. But as you can see, it's like completely hidden, so I need to use the lead and then clean it basically. Would you look at that? Doesn't it look <laughs> a bit better? I can actually see there are berry bushes. And we have, it's four bushes, but we have three different kinds. So this is, let's see. My friend Pat taught me a trick. You can actually smell what kind of berry it is. If it's black currant or red currant, that will be red. And if it doesn't smell anything, okay, that's black currant. And that will be red then in that, in that case. And then there's like a weird blueberry bush that we bought. We haven't actually gotten any blueberries yet, but I think this year is gonna be the first. So let's look at what we have in total on the garden. So this is the new pear tree that we just planted. And over here we have a apple tree that was planted two years ago, I think. It needs to be actually trimmed down a bit, it's getting too high. And then we have a little apple tree down here. I don't know if you can see the white tag there. This is uh, like cherries. And up there, if you can see the white tag right there, that's a plum tree, but it's not feeling it too well. Um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna live actually. Before I roll <laughs> the bloopers for this video, I just want to quickly sit down and say a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. It's actually thanks to them I can buy luxury items like the fruit trees and berry bushes because that is quite expensive actually. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks and podcasts across every genre and it's super easy for me to recommend them to you. 
because I use Audible every single day when I walk the dogs or cut the lawn. If you want my personal recommendation, I want you to check out the book Meditations. It's a series of personal notes written by Marcus Aurelius, you know, the former Roman emperor. He actually wrote these thoughts and ideas about Stoic philosophy to himself. It was never meant to be published. And what makes this book so interesting is that the things he wrote about when he was alive all those years ago is still very relevant today. The way Audible works is that with a membership, you get one credit each month that you can use on any title in their entire library. And you also get to keep it forever. You can start listening now with the 30 days Audible trial. And with that trial, you can choose one audiobook and you get full access to their entire Plus catalog. To check it out, just head over to audible.com slash Kalle Flodin or text Kalle Flodin in one word to 500 500. And new members can always try Audible out for a month for free, just to check it out. Thank you so much Audible for sponsoring this video and actually funding our food garden. Now, <laughs> it's time to roll the bloopers. Garden and also plant a few more fruit trees. Fruit, <laughs> why that's so hard to say. Fruit, a few fruit trees, few fruit trees. I'm gonna show you where I'm planning. Where... <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna show you where I'm planning to... Okay, I just spat on my own arm. Nice. Today I'm gonna show you our... Today I'm gonna plant a few... 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 Few fruit trees. Today I'm gonna... Sh <laughs> we have something very important to talk about. And that is... I'll <laughs> so this is one berry bushes. Bush, bush. Nice. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Come on. I can't do this a third time. Today I'm gonna. Hello, Fogen. Are you done? Super, super slow. That was not super slow. And if you want to check out the Audible deal and get a free audiobook, you just click there. And if you want to check out more of my videos, you can check this one out. Thank you so much for watching and just keep supporting what I do. It really means a lot. We'll talk soon again. Bye.